Hello everyone. In today's presentation, I have picked a topic intermediate targets of monetary policy where I would be discussing the money supply target and interest rate target as an intermediate target in detail with the figure. But before starting the intermediate target, let's see what is monetary policy, what are the tools of monetary policy and what are the final targets or goals of monetary policy in a brief. So let's start. What is monetary policy? Monetary policy is the part of macroeconomic policy. All the economies of the world, whether it is developed, developing or underdeveloped, all countries across the globe has its own macroeconomic policy, which is the roadmap for the target of future growth and development. It consists of fiscal policy and monetary policy. In India, fiscal policy is governed by Ministry of Finance, Government of India. Its tools are tax and public expenditure. While monetary policy in India is governed by the Central Bank of India called RBI, Reserve Bank of India, which plays a very important role in management of liquidity and control credit with its tool of selective or qualitative method and general or quantitative method. There are four major targets of monetary policy or the final targets of monetary policy. They are growth, price stability, full employment and balance of payment. Growth implies that there should be continuous increase in income, output and employment in all the three sectors of the economy that is agriculture, industry and services. There should be a smooth, steady growth path in spite of upheavals for short period, but growth should be continuous process in the economy. Next is the price stability. That means that economy should not be having either hyperinflation or deflation. According to the Monetary Policy Committee, target inflation for India is 4% with 2% upper and lower band that is acceptable for the economy. Economy without inflation cannot grow, but inflation should be taken as a medicine with full care. That means we have to be very much attentive with the rate of inflation that it should not move beyond the target. Next is full employment. There are four factors of production, four planned labor capital enterprise, four resources that should be fully employed. As far as labor is concerned, the country population is divided into three parts between zero to 15 years of age, 15 to 65 years of age and above 65 years of age. So the the first and the third are the dependent population, where the second between 15 to 65 years of age are the working population. In that working population, those who are having ability and willingness to work must get job. They should be employed. Next is the balance of payment, which plays a very important role in the economy like India, which is now the part of the globalized world. We have a trade relation with the world. So, Balance of payment says that if export is equal to import, the balance, the trade is balanced. But if the export of India is more than import, it is going to have a surplus balance of payment. But the problem comes when export is less than import and that leads to the drain of resources outside the country. So the objective of the monetary policy must be to achieve the surplus in the balance of payment where the export must be greater than import. That means if export is more then there will be large inflow of currency in the country which will help in future growth and development of a country. So to achieve the targets monetary policy has its tools. The selective method and the general method. Selective method tools are moral suasion, margin requirement, regulation of consumer's credit, publicity and direct action. Where the general method are 
cash reserve ratio, statutory liquidity ratio, open market operation, bank rate, liquidity adjustment facility under which it has repo and reverse repo. So if we see the monetary policy transmission with the help of the various tools of monetary policy, we find that the transmission of policy from RBI to commercial bank and commercial banks to borrower sometimes takes a slow process because whenever RBI change the bank rate, it takes time by the commercial bank to ch make change in the interest rate. So for a faster policy transmission, RBI introduced my MCLR, Marginal Cost Lending Rate System in 2016, which has a provision that any change in a repo by RBI must instantly reflect it in the change in the lending rate of the commercial bank to the borrower for the faster transmission of monetary policy. Now, the another problem along with the policy lag is the trade-off between the targets of monetary policy. We find that all the final targets of monetary policy are a growth, price stability, full employment and balance of payment have trade off among themselves. If we see the growth and price stability, we will find that when there is a high growth in the economy, in giving employment to all the factors of production, at some point of time, when the factors get fully employed, then growth beyond that leads to inflation and it violates the target of price stability. So there is a trade-off between growth and price stability. Next trade-off is found between full employment and price stability. As the economy reached at the level of full employment, after that level, it's very difficult to maintain price stability because the resources are fully employed and then it will lead to the rise in price. Next trade-off is between balance of payment and price stability. Suppose the economy is having a surplus in the balance of payment. That means huge inflow of foreign currency in the country that increase the money supply in the economy. That will lead to increase in demand. So at a given supply, the demand will increase. It is definitely going to increase the price. So then again, the problem of trade-off between the balance of payment and price stability. Full employment and growth. If there is full employment in the economy to all the four sectors, for factors of production, land, labor, capital, enterprise are fully employed. Then after that point, it is very difficult to have high growth rate because the economy almost reach at a stagnation point and are beyond that, the growth cannot be achieved at a higher pace. So from the last two slides, we have seen that there is a problem of policy lag in the monetary policy transmission. Along with that, there are trade-off between the final targets of monetary policy. Now, what to do? So, in order to avoid this problem, the policy makers suggest to target the intermediate targets of monetary policy. So, here we will be discussing the intermediate targets of monetary policy that are the money stock target and the interest rate target. Now, after the conceptual discussion, let us understand the monetary policy with the help of figure, with the help of aggregate demand curve and aggregate supply curve, and then we will find out its effect on price and income. If you have any question on this presentation, please put your question in the comment section and like and subscribe my channel to get further notification. Thank you so much.